Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, where Har and Mia have chosen themselves an interesting battle where enemies are probably going to swarm them en masse for a long time coming, so we need to well, dispatch of some of these in our path, don't we? And assume their positions, so let's first of all get just started with the episode by chopping down a low HP foe. Rocking stun, completely unneeded, but more or less we need to keep them together so they can only be attacked by two sides at once. I'll just lower the attack source of damage, hope that Mia procs vantage and they might be able to take out pretty much everything on the field. So let's move hard to there, plus Har is the one who gets chosen to be attacked most of the time anyway. We've got the Woe Dao here, a Steel Sword will take that one out? No. A Steel Blade Doubled will though, so let's, yeah, that puts the... Steel Sword is our next attack option. Let's take you out who has a fair amount of defense or HP. Not proccing Adept. I don't want to get hit. Nanku. Nyanku even. As now the stage is set for those two, or more of the point, the stage is set for Mia to be assaulted from, well, she can be assaulted from three corners, but you kind of expect her to survive a fair amount of damage there. So we want to move Neff up. For the rest of the crew, ready to go. So, let's just use an Iron Lance to take this one down. And then just to the right, we've got Super Jill, or a Super Stats, where we should be able to just, well, go a couple of levels maybe? And if skill keeps leveling up, then we're okay. And we can keep using it, if not, we can't. So we've got an enemy there, some Hawks around, so we've got to watch out for them. Let's boost you up, sir. Madame. And if we get Jill into a position where she can get healed, we put Alincia in a position to fight. So let's go... Yeah, stay there with you. You probably can't be attacked. Put you over to there, Neff. And uh, Alincia can go to the front lines as well. And they can converse. Nefeni, please be careful. Howdy there. Looks like I'm still in this fight. For now, anyways. Yeah, yeah, you're all fine with your low supports. Alright, so... Essentially, these guys can all reach Neff, so Neff's got some battling to do. If we move Jill into here, and we can quickly heal her up and get her ready to forge forward yet again. Okay. I shove there just to get you in position. So we've got two Lagoos ready to walk when they need to. And of course we've got a ton of others as well. It might come to the part with Har where we have to retreat Mia and get her out of there. But most of our battles get done on the enemy phase. Let's let them come. Right, Neff's being attacked. Support to boost her up. Not much damage taken. Not much chance for the enemy to hit. Oh, we, yeah, we still got the Iron Lance. I should change that. But if she's going to proc abilities, we're okay. Should have changed to still Great Lance. Doesn't matter though if she procs. Or crits. Ivor's good. We just need some more good levels for you, Neff. Or things like that going on as well is great. Come on. Four stats. Well, it's four stats. <laughs> Speed, luck, res, HP. I want some more strength. But she's fighting them all. And she doesn't want them to survive either. The crit chats! She's not even in wrath domains. And you as well. Now we can't kill you one shot. Or two shots even without some extra abilities here. Oh my goodness, she crit again. Oh my goodness, she crit again! What is that? Like, four crits, five... Five crits in a row. I don't know. I, uh... Well, if Mia gets the luck that Neff just came up with, we're going to be good. Vantage. Critical. Now, it still gets an attack in, though. Good dodge. That's a kill. That should mean that Mia should be safe. 
Don't like it when there's flyers on the field though, but they don't do too much damage. Now again, another strong beast misses. It's a double, it's gonna be, but it's not gonna be any criticals. Well, this combat experience, Vantage. More Vantage procs the better, because then it means no damage coming in whatsoever. But there's five. Too bad we don't have a physics staff for Omnries here. Not that he could reach. But that's a level up for Mia. Come on, be as good as Neff's. It's probably one stat. She's already got two cap stats after all. Skill's not a bad one to get one stone. The XP level would be better. So what are you? There's at least another... Oh, we're going for Har now. Okay, gave up on that. Is it because Har can't one-shot you? Oh, yeah. No, he can. Well, that leaves Mia's and Har's jaunt looking pretty good. Now, yeah, that one can attack Har or Mia, but didn't even choose to attack. Have they given up on him? Well, Zuka warps in a ton more. And now, okay, someone's going for her. You can double this one, can't you? Can't kill it, though. Unless you prop stun. Well, I was getting close to another level. So it seems we need to take care of a bird nearby before we do anything here. Right, so... I don't know why you didn't attack. If Har takes that one because chance to do massive damage is heightened, Mia could probably take one of these guys quite easily. But we want a low hit chance. Well, it seems, of course, Mia's on the downturn for overall strength of the moment, but we need to take care of this one before we do anything. And considering you can't definitely do it, but you can on that one, we'll start with you. We got Jill there, it's all fine. And she got bird slaying as well. So while Mia's on the downturn, Neff's on the up. Well, no criticals this time. So that's a level up. Four stats. Freeze fine, BXP level. Defense is up again. Oh, she's cat skill speed, so yeah. Freeze stats is a very good level there. We want strength defense though. Now, BXP leveling her at this point would probably cap the ones we want to cap as well, so. Hmm, ah. Uh. Overall, very good stats, you got to say. Right, Jill's got the two to go, but we could go with Alincia Smash, because there'll be no reply. I don't even know where you fly off. Just attack him again. Sword him in the face. Or her, I don't know. Paragon causes yet another level up. No stats. Look at that. Extra strength, skill, speed. Beautiful. With that bird out of the way, a lot of our problems are gone as well. Right. So she's capped strength now. That's as far as she can go. I'm amazed you have more strength than Neff. But you have two extra levels on it. And of course you have the defense and res boost of Amity. Do we send Jill in? Because of course Jill could just mash everyone. Or not. I mean Jill's stats are so good she could probably survive against everyone still. And not take any damage. I mean she's too good. Let's go for it, mainly because we need to cut down some enemy troops nearby before they run towards Mia and crew. So do we go for the dragon? 
Let's go for it. Let's see if we can take out the dragon in one turn with a killer axe. So that's 39. Dragon's turn to hit for no damage. We didn't get it in one turn. We stay there because, of course, otherwise you'll attack from range, whereas we just force you to attack from melee there. So we're expecting these ones to come for Mia. So if that's the case, let's move her back a little bit. I don't know if that will be within their range still or not. I can't poleaxe the guy in one go, can't silver lance the guy in one go. You still, no, you're not weapon skilling still. You are perfect in every way in that sense. So standard steel axe would do. Cancelled the return attack. Beautiful. And high levels up. Will it be a good un? Yeah, it's a good un. Speed defense. He always needs that extra speed at the moment. And I don't know if this will move her out of range of them or not. But it's better than leaving her exactly where she is. Uh, shall I do this? It could prove 8 damage that we can't take. But in the same vein, we could proc a critical or an adept, quite honestly, and just wipe the guy out without damage. The beauty of Mia, a tanky character for a different way. So that means that you're not in range, but you are? So that's three attackers on the next turn. We've got another bird around, which is going to go for Jill. Farewell to you. And we can advance a little bit more with Neff. Now, this dragon is kind of stuck. So let's Goldra Neff up. Because you need just more, more, you know, we'll shift you when we want to. And we'll get you to there. Which makes an interesting position here, because you can go to there as well. Can't push Alincia. And there's no one to really heal. I mean, Reese could if you want the experience, but... Meh. It's all about Mia, what we're interested in, isn't it? And now Jill's standing right next to Azuka. Poor Azuka. I was about to say, is the dragon completely fleeing? No, he's going to range this time, and like staying in the main one. Well, we know you can do nothing to begin with. So, fair beast to you. No one's going to attack Jill, so everyone's going to peel off in different directions. They're even standing next to her. Which is probably not a bad idea. Well, okay, you're going for her. There's Mia there, you know. On a very low biorim. But I know I can't double you, so that's probably why you've done it. They're basically standing next to Jill to surround her. Not quite sure the rhyme and reason of that one, but uh, if you want to do it, do it, I guess. Alright, there's birds around again, but no one's in range yet of anyone important. Or that we don't think will just succeed. Here we go then. Impale. That's not enough. No, it is. Maths. Well, I did 54. Am I wrong here? Impale is four times? Oh, four times, not three times. Mistake made. That allows Jill to basically move out and kill the dragon if she wants to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could put Alincia in position to kill the dragon and move back as well. She'll attack twice before the dragon even gets to hit, so that's fine. Gonna lead to another very interesting round of attacks. And back into the bushes. We're getting so close now. 
Azuka can smell his own defeat. Or his own feet. Dependent. Alright, so we want to shift there and move back, because I don't think anyone else can reach at this point. Apart from you. So if we move Reese forward a little bit... That will mean that you definitely can get back, because you can get to there and back. Then if we attack this one and take it out, we'll be in an interesting position yet again. Do you have A for everything as well? Just the axes that you need to level up once again, so killer axe, steel axe will probably be better. I want to take you. I really want to kill you, because once you're out of the way, and once you're out of our hair, that's one big source of damage done, but to be honest, we're not going to get it nicely. So let's just take out one of these ones. It should leave Mia perfectly fine as well. I was going to go take on a dragon. Aha, and the weapons have leveled up. So the idea is that we move you to there, move you in, shift, vigor. Two to go yet again, and another level up for you. Extra defense. Probably needed, considering you're going to land in the range of a raven, I think. Oh no, you don't, because so, the blocking is good. And no one else can just run around, so you're in a good position. Now the main problem here is using Neff to go again. We want the enemies to come to us, don't we? So are we taking care of one or knocking down the HP of one? Probably knocking down the HP. We've got the weapon level up, so Jill's Lance will do. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we she can get next to Alincia. I'm just looking what she can take down. Not you. Probably best to start on the dragon, though, and get him out of our hair, considering one's appeared. Go on, critical or proc. Even way, if she does, it's 51 damage. Which isn't going to do the duty. But a level up for Jill comes. Will it be skill? Skill, Jill! Alright, we've got one more chance, I think. One more level to go. That is the front row. Pretty much fine. We'll move Tiban up just to cover a little bit. Jeffrey as well, maybe. And then it's all up to Mia to either take down another one or make herself available to be attacked by several others. How are you on the Byron right now? Oh, you're coming up. So do I want to get you to go for that one and then Hargo's over here? Maybe. Alright, you can hit us for some damage, but we can poleaxe him down for most of it. That'll do most of the job. That'll do all of it. Job done. Dragon taken out. You can reach to there, can you? Okay then, so if I go for range damage and take care of one, we've got an alternate attack option for the other guys. A depth prop, just in case we miss. We've got an alternate attack option for two of them coming up. Plus the bird, the hawk to come in. And of course, they're not ranged attack there because they're choosing not to attack yet again. Have they given up? It's a bit weird. It's Neff procs and Bell and goes at it once more. Not needed. But always good to see. Four times damage is immense after all. 
I'm amazed Suzuka doesn't teleport because we are close. We are very, very close. I mean, we can kill the boss and win right now, but we may as well kill the Lagoos that are right in front of us before doing so. All that lovely experience is going bugging. Okay, really choosing not to attack again? Okay, the Hawk has a little bit more gusto to it. As Jill's Lance is about to break, but this is bird killing. And Jill is an expert at it. Job done. Well, a single person went for Mia, but Azuka ran away. Into Har. Well, that's not clever of you. Well, if Mia's over there and Har's over here as well, it seems he does use his staff to escape. He's got four. <laughs> 14 more charges of run away. But there's not really anywhere he can probably run away to that doesn't involve us just one-shotting him. We'll leave Azuka alive for now as we continue onwards. Next episode, there's a couple of Lagoos to clear up here. And the main squad this way as well. He's marooned himself so that any Lagoos he summons in will, well, get very slowly forward, that's for sure. I'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.